In this video, I want to run through an exercise that uses values cards to clarify values. Sometimes when we work with our clients, they tend to identify some values that are somewhat global, somewhat large in nature, things like health, things like family, things like friends. And although they are extremely valuable to us, they are a little bit more difficult to understand as to how to apply. So I like to go out and use values cards to, to look at what other values underpin those global large values. So the exercise looks like this. Give your client a piece of paper and a pen and ask them to write down their value. Take this value and put it in front of them so they can keep that in mind for the entire time. Then give them the values cards and ask them to sort them into two piles. Most important to them and a little bit less important. Both of them are, both of them are important, but one is more than the other. And we're asking them to sort this deck of cards in line in, in the service of family. So how do you want to act on or hold? What, what values do you want to hold in the service of this value family? So do you want to hold risk? And they might say, no. How about flexibility? Yes. Power? No. And as they go along, they might go out and uh, start to fill up one pile more than the other. We want to ask them to even them out as much as possible so that they can go along and often they'll put lots and lots and lots in this pile over here and they're most important and, and so on. But we want them to differentiate be between the two. If we, if we move forward and, and we just pop these in, in, in two piles so we can go out and demonstrate this a little bit faster for you, we put this one aside for now and we'd ask them to do that again with this pile. So how do you want to be, how do you want to act, what is it that you want to hold in line with this primary value over here, family. So once again, they'd go through and they would pull apart um, the, the, the main deck into two, two piles and they would find what's most important to them. And once again, there's a bias in this direction, so we ask our clients to, to try and keep them as even as possible. We would take that pile again and put that to the side, and we would ask the clients again to shuffle these through. Now, we're hoping to get our client to hold somewhere between five and seven values that they can hold because it's, it's otherwise it's a little bit too difficult to go out and hold so many values in mind. It becomes overwhelming as to how we want to live by this primary, uh, primary desire, this primary value. So once again, they would sort through the pile and just for exercise, uh, just for this exercise, we'll pop these across and we'll use this as our primary ones. And we would now ask our clients to arrange these primary values under family and how they would sit. So we put them all out first and then look at how do they sit. And so the client might go out and say, uh, commitment is actually their uh, responsibility, uh, independence there, trust needs to go over here, uh, compassion and creativity. So they might they might do something like that. And we would ask our client to explain how they've put this together and why it's meaningful in that way. And they might say, well, trust needs to be at the foundation of my family. That, that's something that I have to hold and, and, and act in, in accordance with. And if I don't have trust, then uh, the, whole, the whole foundation crumbles and then everything else will fall down after so trust is at, at the at the core of, of family really and then we move across to say commitment might be there's a commitment that I have towards my family the way that I want to parent and so on and so forth and their responsibility might be there also saying these are the things that that keeps 
security within my family that, that ensures that we have food on the table and, and we're able to have a good education for my, for my children and so on. And then we look at uh, compassion might be in terms of compassion towards my children and that that's, that's very important and also towards my wife who or my husband that goes out and supports the family or does a lot of the domestic duties. And then we might say independence is really important as well. This is actually about me. If I go out and, and am independent myself, then I've got more to give for my family. So my independence is important and it's important I don't get lost within the family, but rather still hold some of my personal identity and that, that independence is, is important. And then creativity that I, I don't lose my spark, that uh, I don't go out and become complacent. I want to be creative within the family and I want to have that, um, that, that influence not only for, for my children and, and my wife, but also for, for myself because I think that underpins what I want for my family. And so with a, with a really strong um, understanding and explanation of these core six values that, that underpin family, it, it gives our client a really good understanding of what they can start to do and also for us what we can go out and, and support our clients with remembering when we're doing our therapeutic work. So that, 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 that's the, the values card exercise that goes out and really underpins some of those primary values because they're not always easy to, to pull apart and understand what is it that the client uh, uh, holds in terms of values when they've got a strong desire or a strong value of family. We want that to spread out into others. 